When did you first know that you were in love with each other? <laughs> um, so <laughs> I knew that I was first in love. It was like a year and a half into our relationship and we were visiting his family for the first time. That was like the moment that I was like, okay, I definitely think I want to marry this guy. It was, I guess what, like a month or two into our relationship. Uh, she got a job offer in Florida. I didn't even think like, oh, I guess we're not going to be together. I just thought like, all right, well, I guess we have to do long distance. I traveled 8,356 miles to visit her in South Africa. That's when I knew. I said, I'm getting on a plane and I'm going to see this For woman. three days. She was there for, for three, three days. days. I didn't know at the same time, which is very no. unfair. <laughs> uh, I knew when I understood that I had to make a decision. It was still like, okay, I got somebody here, somebody there. Like, I had to make a choice. And I was like, wow, I don't want to lose her. I love her and I don't want to lose her. And that was when I knew. We went on a date in Hollywood, and then we were about to go home in the car, and then he just blurted out that he loved me. I <laughs> was so embarrassed that I ran out of the car. No, but you started crying first. I did. And I sat there for like five, ten minutes, wondering if he was ever going to come back. And then he forced me not to tell him that I loved him back, and then I had to tell him. I had to wait like two weeks. I said it first quite early on. I think that I knew because we were long distance for a long time, and like, I just wanted to speak to him every day. Any small moment I had, I was running to speak to her always. Everyone says, oh, you'll just, when you see it, you'll know. And you go, oh, shut up. But, oh my, like, there it was. <laughs> it was that, it was that clear. Knew it Im immediately. Yeah, it took us three days to say, okay, we need to, <laughs> <laughs> this is we need to figure out a way that yeah. we're going to be in the same place. <laughs> I knew I was in love with Antonio probably the week after I met him. Yeah, but I never, just never told him. She would come by my, by my mom's place, um, and we would, we would like sit down and watch like my wife and kids and a whole bunch of funny shows, and like it was like we were just laughing at silly shows together, and that's when I was like, yeah, I could see myself being with her for the rest of my life. Yeah. We were together in Florida, and we had kissed, and that had happened, and then we went back our separate ways to where we lived. I lived in Colorado and she lived in New York and I was talking to my friend in Colorado and then she said, if you never see her again, like how are you gonna feel? And then I was like, well, obviously terrible. And then she's like, okay, so imagine you could see her again but you can never kiss her again, how are you gonna feel? And she was like, that's your defining factor. And I was like, hmm, you yeah. know. Oddly enough, our mutual friend, Dan, when I left you that day and called him at the airport, oh my God, well this and I kissed. Okay, he goes, why did you screw that up for? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> he was our best man also. Yeah. So he was the best man at our wedding. I came to an event that she was singing at and I knew instantly. I told somebody that I was, you know, that I came to the event with, you know, I'm going to marry her. And of course, you know, people think that's a joke, but I mean, that's actually how it happened. That's the truth. Aww. Not serious? Oh, the first time I saw him, I just thought, I'm like, oh my God, he's so fine. All of that. And then... <laughs> I did. It was like a magnet. I only wanted to hang out with him. So I kind of like, you know, had to drop everybody else off because I just wanted to be with him all the time. We had so much in common and it just seemed so natural. I think the first time I knew I was in love with him is um, when I thought to myself, when he's finished with doing what he's doing, he's going to be hungry and I need to cook something for him. So, and I was like, whoa, where did, where did that come from? After graduating college, I ended up going back to Georgia uh, to hang out with my mom and figure out what I want to do next in my life. And I was there maybe two weeks and the entire time I just kept thinking about Amber. So I ended up going back to North Carolina and on the drive up that way, I was that's when it hit me. It's like, man, I'm, I'm really, I think I love her. When I was absolutely sure was when we actually weren't together. We had a two years long distance relationship. When he moved, I actually pushed him forward to, to chase his dreams. It would be much easier for me to have him stay yep. and say, don't go. But I actually no, you go and I believe in you. And I had no doubt that would, we would be together. She has like the, 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 the coolest laugh. Her laugh is very loud, Not but very sure. good. It's a good, uh, <laughs> juicy laugh. So I got caught by her laugh, and then I stopped, started to, trying to talk to her, and she would never. She was kind of rude. Don't call me rude. I Don't mean, it's in a cute way, a, rude, <laughs> a cute rude. So how you fell in love? I fell in love. Question. 
We dated for a, a couple times, uh, maybe three times, and she kept breaking up with me. And I said, you know, I'm gonna be with someone else. And everything changed. She became like a... Wait, but you're talking about when I fell in love. You have to talk about how you fell in love. When? That's when I knew. I was like, that's it. She's the ah. one. Okay. Actually, yeah, maybe from the beginning I knew. I was in love from the first day. I was. <laughs> I was. Because it was hard to get. Exactly. <gasps> Well, for me, I had to be in Los Angeles for work, and um, we spent the weekend in Malibu, and I thought, I can't get enough of this fella. And we did everything there was to do in Los Angeles. We went to a baseball game, we did the beach, we did Hollywood, we did, we did everything. It was a great weekend. I think that's when I knew. It's a little sooner for me, but that's great. It was pretty evident at the beginning that I liked this girl a lot, and it hasn't relented. It's pretty good. Susan walked by, and I go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw him with this big smile on his face, so I thought, hmm. And when he said to me, look, I don't want to date anybody else. I don't have time or energy for it, and I only want to date you. It was like, oh, isn't that terrific? How many guys are like that, you know, that, this soon? I think I kind of knew for a long time. I think I did too, actually. But I remember when I was in eighth grade, I told my mom that I was going to marry Abe, and she, <laughs> I don't think she was expecting it. We were driving, and she kind of screeched to a stop, and she was like, what? <laughs> At first, I was living in Arlington, Virginia, and would trek up to Columbia, Maryland uh, to visit Jill. And one time, I was really late because of traffic and everything, and I was really worried about her response. But she was so understanding and everything, and I just started to think she's a you are we're a really special person, so maybe maybe after a few dates. I think we were just both kind of ready to find someone to share our life with, so we, you know, things moved along pretty quickly. Well, you know, we shared the same, I guess, values, the same uh, family uh, connections, et cetera, and you know, you know, her mother was born in Italy and my parents were Italian, so you know, we thought, well, I guess there's some connection here. I played a lot of football when I was in high school, and she would uh, always cheerlead for the other team. Then I decided that uh, I'd rather see her root for me than, than, than the other team. I just knew that um, I wanted to see more of him, and I was just drawn more and more and more to him. And I don't want to cry. <laughs> About four months ago, I think. <laughs> I first no noticed him and felt something when I saw him walk into the announcing class, and here is this mm, salt and pepper haired guy coming in with a cane, and I thought, oh my God, what war was he in? Because I thought he was a veteran. And uh, I later found out that he was uh, 19 and he had hurt his leg and touched football. Pretty soon, I, you know, uh, uh, five or six weeks, I would think, in my case. I knew. I was in love with him when I first saw him, uh, when he arrived at the Israel Motion Picture Studios looking for a job. But I was young, I was 17. What did I know about love then? <laughs> Were you in love with me? I don't think so. I can say that I was convinced throughout the time that she was in the Army and I was in the States that we were going to be married. The five years between the time we met and the time we got married was... I matured. Was, 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 ...was a good idea. Everybody liked you. <laughs> you were easy to like. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> we were married uh, in June of 1953. We met in May of 52, I guess. Right. So I guess I looked ahead and it seemed like we had a lot of interests in common. We enjoyed being together, and uh, we were very much attracted to one another, and it seemed almost inevitable. <laughs> Hard to say, somewhere along that one-year stretch. I mean, I think we got along quite well from the beginning, but, you know, uh, this was 65 years ago, pretty much, and it's uh, not very easy to remember all the details of exactly what you did or even what you felt. But it was not unusual then, you know, to be married fairly young. I was married a month after my 20th birthday. 
and it, it seems terribly young, and I think people are getting married at 28, 30, 35, and uh, they, they are sort of fully formed, and I think we sort of grew up together in some respects. <laughs>